Hello, John Talley here with PartZilla.com. Today we're going to show you how to do a simple oil change on a 2008 Honda CBR600RR. Starts by just letting the machine run for about two or three minutes, get everything circulating around in there, then we'll lift it up and I'll show you how to get it done. All right, guys, let's go over some of the tools we're going to need for this project. It's actually a very short list. You'll need a 12 millimeter, a 5 millimeter Allen, a decent you know, ratchet, and then an uh, old filter wrench. Definitely going to be vehicle specific, so you want to get the right size for that. All right, guys, before we get started, let's talk about the different types of oil that you can use in this machine. When your machine was shipped out, it was uh, sent with just Honda GN4 oil, just a real generic type oil. Honda also recommends that you can use an HP4 oil, which is a synthetic, but you just want to make sure that you, it does not have molly in it. Now, I know there's a bunch of different oils out there and there are even more opinions as to what, uh, what you can use in this and which one's best for it. I'm going to go with what Honda recommends just to be on the safe side. So let's get that cowling pulled off and I'll show you how to get the oil dumped out and replace the filter. Once you remove all eight of those five millimeter uh, Allen bolts, the entire lower cowling will uh, drop out as one piece, just leave it connected, and then uh, reassembly you just be the uh, reverse of uh, what we did to pull it off. Now with the cowling off, you just need to remove the, the oil fill plug, make sure you don't lose the o-ring with it. And to drain it, there's just a 12 millimeter down at the bottom of the crankcase. And it does have a crush washer on it, so you want to keep up with that as well. All right, while that's still draining, you can go ahead and take off the oil filter. You're going to need an oil filter wrench to do that. All right, when we took it off, of course, it made a mess of our exhaust headers with oil. So you definitely want to spray that back off once we're done with some contact cleaner or brake cleaner get it cleaned back up. All right, when you're reinstalling the, uh, the oil filter, you want to get just a little dab of oil and go around this O-ring. Use your wrench to snug it back up, but don't get carried away. It doesn't have to be that tight. It's about right there. It looks like she's pretty much finished draining. Make sure your crush washer is still on your drain bolt. Tighten it back up. All right. Like I said, go ahead and spray down those headers, get all that oil off. Otherwise, it'd smoke like crazy potentially catch on fire. We don't want that. That should do it. All right, guys, we've got our filter snug down. We've got the drain plug tight. Now it's time to go ahead and fill her up. She holds right at three quarts, if not exactly. What we're gonna do is go ahead and dump in two get it circulating through the system, and then we can set the final level with the third quart. That's two. Tell you what, we'll go ahead and put half of the third one in there, and then start it up. All right, let's see if you look at that sight glass. It would be lying to you right now because it shows it's right in the middle where it's supposed to be when I'm done. But what we haven't done is start it up and at least get it to circulate through the system, fill up that void where the uh, oil filter is. Before you start it up, you want to make sure that you have the oil fill plug in place. Otherwise, it's going to kick oil out of the, uh, the side of the case, and we don't want that. It'll make a mess. All right, it's circulated through about 30 seconds. So 
And now, if you relook at our our site, doesn't show anything in there now, does it? So roughly the rest of this third court should bring it back into into spec. And once you shut the machine off, you want to give it about a minute or so to settle to get your final level because a lot of the oil is still just going to be draining down into the sump. All right, it's at the bottom of the mark right now. So I think we can safely go ahead and put it in the rest of this court. Give it a minute or two to settle. And then we'll take another peek at that sight glass. All right, there she is, right in the middle in between high and low. All right, once you've removed your, uh, th the funnel and before you start it up, you want to make sure you replace your oil fill plug. All right, guys, well, that's pretty much a wrap on this one. Really simple procedure. Save yourself a decent amount of change doing it yourself instead of taking it to the dealership. Now listen, if there's something that I did that you couldn't see or if you have a question about what I was working on or how I did it, leave it in the comment section below and I'll be glad to you know, do my best to answer it for you. If you need any of the parts or the oil, the filter that I used in, in this procedure, come see us at partzilla.com and we can get you taken care of. And until the next video, we just want to say thank you for watching.